Hello everyone, it is I, Sakamoto, and I'm here with more The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX for Game Boy Color. Um, so for this room, you want to take a pot and throw it at the freaking thing over there, just like at the Kanata Castle. And with this room, you are not going to be able to get over to that other side to get that treasure chest until you have the dungeon item from this place, which I believe I may have mentioned already. If I didn't, in this dungeon, you get the Pegasus boots. In this next room, we're going to see some, uh... Walking bombs with faces, uh, Stalfos, and uh, I think a slime. Yeah. With those bombs, you gotta be careful because once you touch them with your sword, uh, yeah, they'll just start going crazy like that until they explode. And there's our first key. This this uh, dungeon has a resap load of keys. Uh, and that's a mimic box with a slime in it. Couple keys in here, um, and nothing because we need to find the switch to get those blocks down. That's funny about the enemies in Zelda, the keys are bats, the Stalfos are the skeletons, but the really funny thing is, um, well it's not really that funny, but for me personally, I don't know what most of the enemies are called, I only know like the keys, the Stalfos, the uh, uh, Mike Likes, and Paul's voice. And that's about it. If there's any others, I can't remember off the top of my head. But, so those green and red things, I just call them slimes. I don't know what they're actually called, because I'm pretty sure they probably have some weird name. Like most of the enemies in Zelda. Why are the rabbits called Paul's voice? Or Paul's voice, or whatever. Um, and those things that are teleporting? Uh, this thing that's teleporting? Yeah, you need to watch out. There's a couple more uh, later. They will um, just disappear and shoot some crap at you every time they reappear. In another spot, they teleport, reappear somewhere, and throw a thing at you. I guess energy ball, Hadouken, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, it's pretty. It can be pretty annoying sometimes. Not necessarily he in that situation where we do just that, but uh, in another situation where we'll get to in a little while. Yeah. Okay, so we want to go... Oh god. I don't need it. I need the music to be the dungeon music. Not this. You didn't change the music whenever you gave us these guardian acorns and pieces of power. I wouldn't care. So in case it's not obvious, uh, you, see, you can see here there's an arrow thing on the ground pointing straight down because there's a bombable wall there. But we're not going to go to it yet. Uh, these guys, you hit them with your sword and then they turn into smiley faces and then they, the timer starts. That lets you know they're about to explode and then they explode when the timer goes out. Just like the other bombs, they'll respawn every time you re-enter the room. And there's a bomb of a wall in here too. This is the compass? Yeah. Yeah, there's a bomb of a wall there. So we're gonna make it explode. Aha, how do you like my bombs, mother stuffer? Ho ho! I got you! That's one way to do it, I guess. Alright, so you would think that maybe you could throw a bomb over there, but nope, you can't. Boy, isn't this music so great and not extremely repetitive and annoying at all? Oh my gosh, I'm trying to get one of them to hit me. And the music, thank you.
Okay, so I'm not going to do that yet because we need the Pegasus boots to get uh, what we need from going through that. So, also, you can bomb that too from either side. I guess the other one you can bomb from either side as well. Up in there is the mini boss. We're not gonna go there yet though. I wanna see what's over here first. Another key. Aha! Oh no, I thought I got him. Aha! Oh no! Music changing bull crap thing. Holy crap, hello. Oh, it's just a piece of power. I guess that's kind of cool. I don't have the stone beak, so I don't know what the owl wants to tell me. This owl statue is trying to say something, but you can't understand it because it has no beak. Yeah, really? I had no idea. Oh, hey, look at that. Yay! Okay. Well, that was pointless. Other than the 50 rupees, I guess. I guess we got a key too, but whatever. Somebody hit me! Never mind. Okay. Oh, hello, slimes. Okay. Okay. So, for the mini boss, we're gonna need the bombs. Well, I've always thought that, you know, this place is, you know, it's cool that they call it the Key Cavern, but they could have also called it the Bomb Cavern. You got a mini boss, you got to use bombs to be, you got these bomb dudes, enemies everywhere. Oh, you got my heart's gonna be using Crazy Tracy's medicine. Yeah, you gotta get, um, I don't even get to explain uh, how to do that. Um, basically, yeah, you gotta use the bombs, you gotta get them to eat the bombs. And then you're good to go. It can be, it can be pretty tedious and not be nearly as easy as I just made it look. Uh, I just got lucky there, honestly. They're, they're a little bit annoying. Oh, we got the Pegasus boots. And with the Pegasus boots, we can do this. Woohoo. And unlock a whole bunch of other crap in this dungeon. As a matter of fact, I think I want to go back to the beginning and then come back here. Real quick. And first, let's get this. Oh, it's a key. I wish I had the map, that would be nice. Oh no. 
probably got both. I wonder if you can have both at the same time. I don't think that's ever happened to me in this game. I think one overtakes the other though. Bomb key cabin. That's what they could call it. Oh god. Yeah, those things are really annoying. Another key that we need to get. Okay, you go diagonally. Out of your damn mind. No, but you are, because you just did. Wait, what? Okay, we have to switch once. We found the switch. Great. Still no fragment of a stone beat, though. That's okay. Yay, we did hit the switch. Oh, we found the stone beat. I'm gonna find everything and then we're gonna be ready to fight the boss and then get the map or something. It's gonna be hilarious. Oh, I finally got the map that I don't need anymore. It's gonna be in one of those two treasure chests. Treasure chests? Treasure chests. I can talk today. Hey, I found the map. At last, you got a map. Press the start button to look at it. Hell yeah. So, like I said, now I'm about to beat the frickin' dungeon. I think all we have left to do is go to those bobble walls in that one area over here. Uh, well, a little bit more in-depth than that, but you know what I'm saying. It's this way. Anyway, come on, brother, for the two seconds I'm gonna need it. I may not even use it actually. Yet. Do I already have all the keys? Almost. I need the, uh. The Bows key. Which is where we're gonna go to go get the Bows key. Okay. Yeah, that's. That's the, uh. I want to show you real quick. It's the one with the arrow. And I believe that's. Yep, that's gotta be the big key. Thank you. The guest starring in this episode of Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX. Then they call it with me, Sakamoto. I, I was talking to the style folks. They were guest stars. They're gone now. Anyway. <laughs> Alright, so you need to take the Pegasus boots and the rocks rather and time to jump. Yeah. That was so smooth. So slick, time to jump just right, and there you go. go here too, and we get the big key. Nightmare key, you got the Nightmare's key. Now you can open the door to the Nightmare's Lair. Yeah, it's usually called the big key, but in this game it's called the Nightmare's key. Alright, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the last four keys that we have and open up those blocks there. So there's four of them. Are you crazy tracing medicine? No, okay, good. Alright. This is what you need to Pegasus boost for here. You can just the guy's like, oh, 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 what the heck? Okay, I guess we need it for this too. Okay, for on a plant for whatever reason. Anyway, oh boy, okay. Ah, how do you like me now, motherfuckers? 
Oh boy, here we go. Classic Zelda Link's Awakening shenanigans. I don't know if they fixed that in the remake. The re-remake. Uh, where you'll get the item, the power bracelet, and then the Pegasus boots, and then for a little while, the game will still mention, oh, what a weird object if you, or, oh, this object's too heavy, or whatever. You know what I'm saying. If, uh, even after you get the item, uh, Neener, Neener, you can't find me, nya nya. Okay. What we can do this guy is ram into the wall with the Pegasus boots, and then do this a lot. Oh, crap. You need to try to split these two eyes. By running into the middle over and over. Ow. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay. Uh, the rock shadow for the land. Oh, hey. Well, that was easy. Okay. That's the easy button. That was easy. Yeehaw! We did it. You've got the sea lily's bell. Okay, that was the sound of musicalness. Now we're. Waterfall. It is hidden in the waterfall. Okay, where's Kapora? Yeah, oh, there he is. Ooh, how many instruments have you gotten so far? When you play the instruments in front of the, wi the egg, the windfish will wake you and you will leave this island. Now you must hasten to the Yarna Desert. The dark, monstrous inhabitants of the sand will show you the way. Woot woot. The Yarna Desert, that's what we're doing? Okay. I don't remember if I went down this hole before or not. I think I did. But just in case. Hang on a second, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, everyone watching. Where are we going? Ocarina. Okay, let's go get that. I know how to do that. Oh, there's another secret bit. Remember how I mentioned in the beginning of the game? Yeah. There was either a fairy or a secret seashell next to the tail cavern, depending on, um, or well, whatever. It, you get the Pegasus boots, and then, yeah. Um, yeah, you, uh, there's a secret seashell. Um, do I need, yeah, I kind of need some bombs, you know what? Let's get some. Thanks a lot, and come again. Oh, he's rubbing his hands together like he's some classic greedy villain guy. Uh, we gotta get the ocarina. And to do so, we need to go in here. And go to sleep. And have a weird dream where somehow we wake up and have an ocarina that we're gonna find. Pegasus boots first. Oh, maybe you do, because those cracks on the floor. Oh yeah, there's a Pegasus boots thing anyways. Yeah. Maybe there's two treasure chests. Yeah. I guess you can... You got 100 rupees. You're happy. Uh, I guess if you come in here without the Pegasus boots, you can get that uh, chest of rupees, but... Until you have the Pegasus boots, you don't get the Ocarina, which is what is in here. You've got the ocarina. You should learn to play many songs. Okie dokie. Um, you only learned three in this game. But, whatever. No judgment. If Link thinks that's a lot, then whatever. That's cool. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hey, dude, what do you think of Baron? Uh, I don't know. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 
too makes me want to throw fucking shit everywhere. This is drives my fucking heart so wild and blood and blood. Okay. That's not healthy. Don't, don't react that way. I, I don't know. Don't worry about me. <laughs> what am I saying? Who sleeps the flying rooster? Yes. Hey, that's a nice ocarina. You need to talk to Marin after you get the ocarina. Will you accompany me as I sing? Yeah. So, how do you like it? It's really touching, isn't it? Does it stick in your mind? Yes. I wonder what happens if you say no. <laughs> You've learned the Ballad of the Windfish. This song will always remain in your heart. Please remember this song. You should play it every once in a while to keep it fresh in your mind. It's the same memory. Oh, that was interesting. The music went and restarted. I wonder what happens if you ram into that. Another pair. Okay. Sorry. I mean, not I did I bit. I did not mean to do that. Oh, we can go get this book. Let me show you guys what it does real quick. This is not a chest. What? You knew that? Okay. Do you want to read this book? Yes. New world of color under the five gravestones. Three up, four right, five up, two left, up down. One dot. Okay, try with all your might, open a new path. Whoever is where they receive the power of color. I wonder what the world of color is. So, we're gonna do that color dungeon. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna be this episode or the next one, but we can do it now that we have the Pegasus boots. We're going to the tail cave. Uh, not the tail cave, but right next to it. That's me talking to myself. <laughs> like, oh yeah, that's what I'm doing. Sorry, I'm just having fun. Okay, there we go. What the heck? Oh, there we go. We found a secret seashell. With a lot of these, something good is going to happen. maybe you actually don't get anything when you get 15, but I'm not 100%. We're gonna find out either way, because I'm gonna go look. Okay, honeycomb. stuff I can use the Pegasus boots on. You gonna tell me it now? Yeah, okay. I just wanted to see if it was still gonna be annoying. Ah, oh, crap. Get out of my way! Alright. Looks like we gotta go back the way we came. That's only slightly annoying. There we go. Alright. Aha! That's what we're, that's the honeycomb we're about to get. Oh, 
Okay. That's a hint in the way to all that stress. Close your eyes and relax. It's so satisfying when you're almost out of hearts and you're bleep, 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 bleep. I need to be able to go in there at least one time and do that. Oh, John, I see you have a nice stick. Can I borrow it for a second? Can. It's wild. Stick became the honeycomb. You're not sure how it happened, but take it. Pretty game logic. Yeah, for a sec I transforms magically into raccoon somehow and causes some chaos in the mysterious forest. And now he's just like, you know what man? Give me a stick. Okay, and then he does that, and he's like, oh my god, bees are chasing me because I freaking attacked their honeycomb, what the heck? Like, wow, what a surprise. Anyways. Uh, where are we going now? We need the pineapple. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh. Hang on, there's another secret seashell we didn't get yet. We gotta go to Richard's house to find it, apparently. I think this is the way it Ow, oh, frick. Yeah, here we go. Uh, maybe this one? Yeah, there it is. Okay, just making sure. Yeah, if you can't already tell, once I've got the Pegasus boost, I'm just like, run around everywhere! Fast, 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 zoom, zoom, zoom! Look at me, I'm zooming, zooming, zooming! Zooming guy over here. Alright, um... Basically, the sister city of a uh, egg village, I guess you could say. If you like country western kind of music, that's the kind of vibe you get going there. It's like, you'll hear it <laughs> a lot, probably. I mean, eh. You know, we're, we're going, this is it right over here. Ah, sigh. On such a nice day, we a song from Marin. Oh yeah, Marin comes and sings to the animals. Um, I think 
think we're gonna move village because of all the monsters. I hope Marin is alright. Hmm. Oh yeah. Funny he says that because this is a portal that takes you to Mid Village. I mean, there's that guy, but you don't even see me from down here. You know what I mean? Whatever. Poor little rabbit. Somebody should tell him about that teleporter. Too bad Link can't talk. I mean, I'll try to tell him. Nope, it didn't work. Sorry, buddy. Oh, you give this guy the honeycomb and get the pineapple. Hi-ho! Hey, is that possibly a honeycomb you have? I just ran out. Will you swap it for a pineapple? Yes. You exchange honeycomb for pineapple. Not as sweet, but it is delicious. Hi-ho! Yeah, I know. That tub of goo is asleep right in the way of yonder desert. Once he's asleep, he won't budge for a long time. But hey, take a little Marin and wake him up with her song. That slob would wake up with a jump if you heard her sing, for sure. <laughs> oh, I just remembered, when you have Marin, there's actually a lot of photo stuff uh, in various places, which we might have to do. Once we get her. I don't know. Yeah, I might end this episode in a couple minutes and uh, just pick up where we left off next time. In fact, I probably will. Hey, did you know Animal Village and May Village are sister cities? Yes, even though they are large enough to be called cities. Anyway, I heard from a very good source that they have a dream shine in May and that it has something good inside. Is that true? Yeah, I got the Ocarina. Oh, I think that's what he tells you. Like, he's giving you a hint to get the ocarina. You don't know the proper etiquette when dealing with a lady, do you? You should have brought flowers or something. Then I might be more inclined to talk with you. Oh yes, in my case, hibiscus are best. Alright guys, um, let me just talk to everybody in the village and then we'll end it at that. Go away! Okay. Yeah, I am sure Donovich. The mermaid statue by the bay is my masterpiece. Masterpiece. <laughs> to tell you the truth, this work is not complete. The art. It's difficult for you to grasp, is it not? Okay. I think that's supposed to be the windfish. Or at least part of them. It's like this big old frickin' whale, basically. Chill and check the chest. Wow, this is a nice chest. <laughs> anyway. That's about it for this place, I think. So for this little guy. Here in the desert? There's a way to get there to the south, but you might not be able to get through it if that lazy walrus is in the way. Alright guys, I'm gonna end this episode here. We talked to everybody in the village, and you know what, let me show you. I guess I can show you the walrus real quick, but because the reason being is uh, in the next one, we're gonna have to do all those photo, sh photo op shoots with uh, Marin and get you know, whatever side quest stuff we need. Uh, I think there's a couple more secret seashells and a couple more trade items. Trade run items. Also, we're gonna do the dungeon in the next episode, so... Probably. Uh, yeah. Um, well, hold on. Interesting out in the desert. Hang on a second here. Uh... Okay, you know what, I will do one more thing before we cut out this episode. Let's do the color dungeon real quick. Oh wait, I need to get in that portal.
need to go to the one of the graveyards thingies is where the color dungeon is, I believe. It's probably this one. Let me find the code for the color dungeon real quick. On my phone. Let's see here. Okay. Oh boy, I gotta kill these guys too. I'm gonna take a lot of sword here. Colors are never the same. If I am red, he is blue. If he is red, I am blue. What color is my cloth? Blue. Don't tell anyone. Do you have your powder? If not, you must go back. Uh. Okay. Fairy Queen is waiting for you. Pretty easy to just kill those guys. This dungeon is really, really easy actually. It's possibly one of the easiest uh, Zelda dungeons ever made. It's like, yeah, that's how you get that. You got the compass. Now you can see where the chests and nightmare are hidden. This compass is, uh, yeah, thanks. The only thing that's kind of hard here is the boss. Oh god. Yeah. Watch out for when those turn red. Uh, that'll be the little, uh, the, the, the leave a pit down below the next time you touch it. These guys you gotta just pick up with the power brace and throw them into, uh, their same colored holes. And the reason why you got the uh, riddle is because you can play this on regular Game Boy. But if you play this game on a regular Game Boy and you try to do this dungeon, obviously you can't do it. So those guys won't let you pass. That's how they test you, uh, I guess. Which is kind of weird because, I mean, if you go going back and forth enough times, I would think that, uh, you'd eventually get it even on a Game Boy. But maybe this dungeon doesn't appear on a Game Boy? I have no idea. You guys let me know in the comments what, what you know about this, because I don't. I never played this game on anything but Game Boy Color. Also, why would I not have the powder by this point? I, I believe I would have needed it for- yeah, definitely the second dungeon. Yeah, that's why these guys are annoying, because they'll... ...cramp your style. Okay. Alright, mini boss. What a greedy fool! You want more power? A buffoon like you might as well give up and go home. Ah. 
Ah, quick. I'm just like, ah, I'm just gonna hit you with my sword as much as I possibly can. I hope for the best. Come on. 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 Come Unless he doesn't grab a fairy. Don't wait. Come here, fairy! Thank you. I was scared it wasn't gonna come to me. Like, no, I need the fairy! Switch into that pot. Yeah. Okay. I get them all the same color. Shouldn't be too difficult. I think. Oh my god! <laughs> Come on already! And then I figured it out. And got past this part. That was really frustrating me because it was taking forever. And now was that. Blah blah blah. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> 
supposed to hit that switch oh my god. Uh, I gotta go find the nightmares key. Apparently I haven't explored everything yet. I thought I did though. Hmm. Okay, we need to go this way. Because I haven't been this way yet. Ah. Here is your clue. I call the red blue. Yeah. Okay. Another mini boss. Cool. I am no weakling. Now pitiful swords don't match for me. Her bombs. Pretty much my only other offensive weapon. Uh. Oh, I remember. I need the magic powder. You can hit with the sword. Can't move. Okay. Ah! You creepy face. Mess with the bull, you get the horns, motherfucker. This must be the nightmare's key. Yay! Now I get to walk all the way back to where we came from. That's okay. That's all I get for forgetting about it, I guess. Whoa. There's like a hidden room at the bottom. See that? Over... Yeah. and then maybe it's... Uh, okay, thank you.
chill after that room. Get the bow and arrows. Flipping awesome, bruh. I can find that fairy again, so I'm out of Okay, you go left up right. Yeah, because this is where we did that really tedious, long bull crap. Bull crap from here. Yeah, we found the fairy again. Alright, we'll take it. And now it's boss time. This is the boss that actually kind of... Let me say if Yellow's Caution is going to be. Andrew for who? Me? Oh, come on. How is Blue safe if you're doing that? What the heck is that about? Okay, thank you. It's him. It's the guy. Uh huh. Oh my god. This is more annoying than anything else. I hit with my sword and I get knocked back. That's why we need to pay for school. Hit him. Yeah, I don't know why I'm jumping. Far. I'll give you the power of color. If you want offense, choose red. If you want defense, choose blue. Which power do you want? I'm gonna get the blue one. Are you sure? Yeah. Relax and close your eyes. You've got the blue close. Your damage will be reduced by half. Yay. I used to get the red one a lot, but it's a little annoying. I will now take you out. Um, because... Uh, it's like having the piece of power, and every every, every enemy you hit just freaking go, goes a million miles away from you and shit. So I was just like, fuck that. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this episode of Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX with me, the boy, Sakamoto. Uh, ouchies. Really? Getting, falling down does it take the whole heart normally? Okay. This place called. 
the ball wasteland. Classic Zelda name and stuff, weird names again. Cannot like castle. Tabal wasteland. Yarn a desert. Where do they even come up with these words? Oh, you know what? Let's go there. That'll be our building. That we come out of and come back in. And yeah, all that. Okay. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Love you guys. Have a great.